Hey y'all, welcome back, or welcome if you're new. Today we have a ton of cleaning to do. I'm also going to share with you a grocery haul, and I'm going to be doing some cooking today. So it is a day full of cleaning, food, and cooking, and I hope that this inspires you today to get out there and get it done. But I'm just going to take you around the house, show you what we're working with, and then we are going to get started in my office which is a disaster <laughs> it, it is a disaster telling you that i need you but you're off my radio now found myself in between the lines underneath your bed sheets it started fun but now i'm into deep into this flow a zero sum game that i will lose there's no sipping past it Every so we are starting out in my office this is the room where all of my etsy stuff is all of my old reselling stuff is from where i used to sell stuff on poshmark there's just so much stuff in here. The seasonal decor is in here. Oh my goodness, y'all. And it's just a small room. I also keep my clothes in here. So we're going to clean this room up. And then I'm going to start decluttering and organizing. But I always like to just clean everything up first before I get into the declutter and organize portion. But this is also the room where we keep all of our home remodel stuff. Y'all saw the hallway. We've been working on it. And Aaron works a full-time job. So he's only able to help me on the weekends do stuff. And it is the summertime soon enough. And he goes fishing a lot. So a lot of the home remodeling has been put on hold until it gets colder again. So that he can enjoy his time out on the water. But... I just wanted y'all to know this is where we keep pretty much all the stuff that we're not using on a daily basis. Alright, so these clothes that I'm picking up right now, I am going to be donating because I do not sell on Poshmark anymore. I keep like going back and forth thinking, mm, I want to sell on there on the side, but then I'm like, mm, I don't really want to do that because I do Etsy where I make my own items. I'm really passionate about just using my hands and creating stuff instead of going to the thrift store to resell items like I used to do so I think I'm finally gonna let go of the reselling part <laughs> finally oh man y'all I did it for three years so it's kind of taken me a while to finally realize that it's time to move on but I'm just going through my personal clothes now and I'm donating items that either don't fit me or I just never reach for anymore and because I had just recently got some items from Belle Lily, I needed to make some room to put those in there. Anytime I purchase new clothing or I go thrifting and purchase clothes for myself, I like to go through the clothes that I already had and get rid of a few things. That way everything is kind of being cycled and the clothes don't start to pile up. So this is the only drawer I have for t-shirts. So if the t-shirts don't fit in here, then I tell myself, okay, it's time to get them gone. And y'all, if you've been watching my videos, you know, I wear the same stuff every single day. So I don't need a lot of clothes anyways. And the bottom two drawers are long sleeves and then hoodies. And then the top is just like sports bras and undergarments and tank tops.
Alright, so now we're moving on to the other side of the room, which is where I put all of my pants. And I'm just going to reorganize these and refold some of them because they've kind of gotten disheveled looking a little bit. But I do just put all the shorts together, all the pants together, all the jeans together, and then all the pajamas together. And that is the way, like, I can have it organized it's not the prettiest thing in the world but it works and i already had this shoe rack from when i was reselling clothes and shoes on poshmark so might as well repurpose it right and then after this i'm going to move on to like the closet area and kind of try to organize all of our home remodel stuff because we have a lot of little paint tools that i just need to organize you can kind of see them in the right corner where i am I need to get those put away in a neat way. <laughs> and you've been keeping up with our home remodeling the only rooms we have left to do is to paint Erin's bathroom which y'all will see later paint the rest of the hallway and then redo the floors so a lot of people have told us that they would like us to do hard floors like vinyl or something like that but we live in a single wide trailer and there's not much insulation in trailers and to keep our costs down with heating, we decided to do carpet. So we're just going to replace the carpet with new carpet. And someone suggested us to go to Ollie's, which we think that that's a great idea because we have an Ollie's near us. And I agree, the carpet there is probably so much cheaper than Lowe's. So we'll either go to Lowe's or we'll go to Ollie's to get the carpet. But I just wanted to let y'all know in this video that we are going to do carpet. Because we get that question all the time uh, to do hard floors. And we're just very much set on carpet. Because it's going to save us money in the long run with heating. Because we use space heaters. We do not have central heat and air we use air conditioning units in the windows and then we use space heaters so we got to be a little more efficient with that but here's this little back life handheld vacuum cleaner i'm gonna do a car clean out video very soon for y'all with this vacuum cleaner so i'm excited to share that with you but let's keep cleaning you and me yeah that's all i need and i'll be Alright, so all this right here is going to be donated and that in that bag is my comforter that I use in the winter and then all of this right here is going to be donated too. 
So that is it for this room, and we're going to move on to the hallway, which is just the dumping ground for <laughs> papers and stuff that I get tired of seeing on the kitchen table. Aaron is so bad about not going through his mail. I get hardly any mail, y'all, and when I get mail, I just throw it away because I don't need it. Everything's electronic these days, but Aaron is so bad about going through his mail. So I kind of hide it away, but then I end up throwing it away because he just never goes through it. And then I've got this little notebook right here and we're going to vacuum. But as you can see, one of the walls is painted <laughs> and then the other wall is not because that's the wall we're still working on. Finally got it patched and it should be ready to sand down and finish painting. Tell me what, what you want to do. I'll do As long as I can be here with you, everything's alright. I'll be right here. I swear that I'll stay here with you. Hold me closer. I wanna stay here with you. All that we have is each other now. I promise I won't. Alright, so now we're cleaning Aaron's bathroom. Y'all, this bathroom's also always a disaster because I forget to clean it. Y'all know I never use this bathroom, but if you're curious, we store stuff behind this shower because we don't have like a little storage room, you know, aside from Aaron's office and my office. We just try to utilize all the spaces we can. And because we don't use that shower, we put, um, like we have boxes in there that we save from purchases and we have what else there is a extra toilet lid that y'all saw earlier <laughs> there's some fall decor in there oh man I think you know I'm very content with what we have but it would be nice if we had a garage because I would put all of our like home remodel stuff in there and all of our extra boxes for products and our home decor like seasonal decor would go in there and then our you know the rooms could actually be used as rooms instead of storage but you just got to do what you got to do right and there's nothing wrong with using the space that you already have to your advantage you may have stuff in your shower that you don't use but it's better than having to buy a storage unit that you have to drive to go to and pay 50 to 150 dollars a month just to be able to store stuff so use what you got
Using this wand is so satisfying. If y'all have not seen these, you put this little attachment on the wand and it expands like a tampon in the water and it re releases all the blue cleaning product and it is so, so good. And then you just push the little button, like slide it forward and you can release the little tampon type thing. I don't know what to call it. <laughs> And you just throw it away. So it's a disposable cleaning wand. And then I just rinse off the wand when I'm done with it. Alright, so now I'm just going to straighten up the living room. And then if y'all see that little table in front of the window, that is Aaron's station to put all of his vaping stuff on and all sorts of other stuff. Batteries, just all of his junk, basically. <laughs> it seems like I talk bad about my husband. Trust me, I love him, but he is a clutter. <laughs> he is a clutterer. Like, he likes to have the house clean. He does appreciate it very much. But he... Just gets home and he's worked all day and the last thing he wants to do is clean up so I do that for him I feel like it is I don't know it's like an act of love for me to clean the house and have dinner ready for when he gets home because of how hard he works I just really like to do that for him and also I like to live in a clean house too so I do it for me as well but I'm just going to go ahead, organize all of his stuff, and then take all of his vaping stuff. And if you don't know what vaping is, it's just electronic. Um, it's nicotine and flavoring. So people confuse it with tobacco. It's not tobacco at all. Um, I do use tobacco, but he does not. Um, he uses vape products, so all vaping has in it is nicotine, so it is safer to use, but it hasn't been around for an extremely long time, so they're, the facts that they have on it aren't old enough to, you know, really determine if it is as safe as they say it is, so I'm not going to tell you that it's as safe as they say it is, but it is much safer than using tobacco, but yeah. I'm just cleaning this up <laughs> and I'm going to put all of his vaping stuff in his office that way he can deal with it when he is ready to deal with it and I did have this little metal basket I put all of his stuff in and then I also had a little wicker basket that I am going to put some of his stuff in that he does reach for all the time that way it just makes it much easier for him and it turned out looking really nice and I told him when he got home you better keep this area clean because I tried really hard to organize it for you but still to where you could find everything because that is what I can say about my husband. I can't speak for anyone else's but he doesn't mind if I clean his stuff for him. He just wants to make sure that he knows where everything is. So once I organize it when he gets home, I have to tell him like, okay, this is where your batteries are. This is where your headphones are. This is where your controller is. Just so he's aware. Because if I don't tell him as soon as he gets home, I'll forget where stuff is. And then you know you get those dreaded questions of, where's this at? Where's this at? <laughs> and I was like, well, if you would clean up your old stuff, I wouldn't have to tell you where it is, would I? And then I've, by that time, I've already forgotten. I said, I don't remember where you're left shoe is or your right shoe is oh my gosh the struggle i feel like i'm talking a ton in this video but this video is an hour long so i want to keep y'all entertained also in case you are just sitting here watching it with me and uh that is totally fine if you are i know a lot of you said that you watch the videos and then you get up and clean so i actually really appreciate that that y'all watch the videos um, and then clean 
but I also think it's awesome if you just clean along with me so it's whatever you like to do when you click on the video but just getting all this picked up now and it does feel really good to get this done it I've been putting it off for a while and it still looks like this today which is very nice I filmed this two days ago so I'm very happy I'm just um, giving myself a little pat on the back. I used to be so bad about not putting the the cord back on the vacuum, like curling it up like I'm doing now. And my cords would get so tangled. But I think because this vacuum cleaner was, I hate to say this, because I feel like, oh, you should treat things the same way, whether they cost a lot or they don't cost a lot. But because it did cost a lot of money, I try to take care of it the best I can because it's not something that's just easily replaceable. So I just give myself a pat on the back and I hope that if y'all are taking care of your stuff that you give yourself a pat on the back too. Like it is totally okay to be proud of what you accomplish as small or big as it may seem uh, I'm just using the Caldrea it smells so good I'm so glad I try this this stuff is like $12 but it is worth it it smells amazing and it works really well it works like it works just like Dawn would work so and that is a big compliment because Dawn works really well but anyways I get sidetracked but yeah give yourself a pat on the back every now and then for things that you're doing like if your moms or your um homemakers give yourself a pat on the back like this is seriously a act of love i feel like and if you do this then you should feel proud you should feel like you're accomplishing something like houses don't get clean on their own so if you're doing that like there's people that pay somebody to clean their house so if you're doing that that is an act of love and you should always feel you know very happy and grateful and all these positive types of feelings when you're doing stuff like this when you're cooking when you're going grocery shopping when you're I don't have children but like when you're taking your kids to like the doctor or school or everything that you do on a daily basis to help out your family like you should be so proud because you're doing such an amazing job and nobody can do it like you you know like you're just awesome and you rock so I know a lot of you that watch me are moms and I just want to tell you how awesome you are and like yeah I just think you're great so <laughs> I don't know it was I was just experiencing a gratitude moment here and also my heater just popped on so I'm gonna 
stop talking so that y'all don't have to hear that and I'm gonna dance to the music <laughs> but yeah if you're a mom or if even if you're not a mom like me and you're a homemaker you are doing amazing so congratulate yourself keep rocking it and you got this So my heater's still on, but I have to tell y'all. So you see a thing of laundry that I'm about to move because we're going to fold it later. But there's also a big pile of blankets. We had a frost Thursday, no, Wednesday night and Thursday night. So I had to have all these blankets out to cover all of my garden beds and all of my tomatoes and all my other plants to protect them from the frost and y'all. The blankets worked great. I'll probably have a garden video on my other channel, which I'll have linked down below in the description if y'all want to go check that out. I do like nature vlogs and garden videos over there, but I wanted to see if the blankets worked first before I told y'all to use them, but I will share a video about that very soon. They did work, so if you have blankets and you need to cover some plants, if you're experiencing a, a potential frost, you can totally do that. You do not have to go buy um, specific things to cover your plants with. The blankets work just fine. You always pick me up and let me down We're spinning around, losing our minds Damned if we do, damned if we don't Damned if we give you what we want Oh my gosh! Oh, that is so gross! Okay, I'm getting a different one. Because I didn't put gloves on to do this. Like, this is uh, probably... Uh, over a month of not cleaning it. Also not using the proper tools. Y'all know I used to use a hanger. <laughs> oh my 
Another broken plate, another called off date. We never seem to get it right. Another heart attack. Right. Was so I'm to? back from the grocery store. It is now 1.40, so I'm ready to eat lunch. <laughs> okay, I got some Fritos. I want to do some Frito pie with some chili. Got some Doritos for taco salad. Got this queso right here for the tacos, and then I got this uh, queso for the uh, Frito Pie. My goodness. Okay, got hamburger for the taco, hamburger for the Frito Pie. Got some biscuits. These are the sweet Hawaiian kind. That's pretty cool. And then I saw this. I don't know. Have any of you tried this? Because it looks pretty good. It's Old El Paso Zesty Ranch Sauce. I thought that would be good. Got some chocolate milk. Haven't got chocolate milk in a long time. Got some tater tots. Shredded cheese. Got two packs of pickle loaf. I like this on sandwiches. Mac and cheese. I didn't have any left. So I just got a box. Got some taco seasoning. Again, they still did not have... The big container of taco seasoning so I just got this sometimes people comment and say why don't you just use like regular seasonings and then put them together <sighs> if you can't tell <laughs> I just don't like to cook uh, the less time I can spend in the kitchen the better so convenient okay donut sticks strawberry shortcake ice cream got some Irish cream coffee creamer and then this coffee creamer is the vanilla caramel I think this is what I tried um, last week and it tastes fine you know it's food line brand but it tastes good I didn't have to add any sugar to it okay got some brownies my little box looks like it got busted oh well then these look really good they're strawberry cheese danish crowns oh yum okay got a stuffed crust pizza we hardly ever get stuffed crust pizza but i wanted some so we got some they got this jack daniels pulled pork chicken this is really good um you just heat it up in the microwave and then 
I have regular bread and if Aaron doesn't want regular bread he can use hot dog bun so I got some hot dog buns to go with some hot dogs and my plan is everything's kind of like tying together so I'm gonna make chili right for my Frito pies but I know I'm gonna have leftover chili so I thought we could put chili over some tater tots and basically do the Frito pie but with tater tots and then I can use chili also on the hot dogs so that like stretches one chili meal to three chili meals which is awesome okay and and you know what I was even thinking okay just now so do the one pound of hamburger meat then I can take my yellow rice which is up here somewhere <laughs> Pantry tour. Anyways, I have a thing of yellow rice somewhere in a big container. Oh, it's back there. It's back there. So I could do a cup of rice to make this become more like two pounds of substance. You know what I'm saying? You get where I'm going. Anyways, I'm just mix it in with chili. Nobody will know. Okay, got some chicken. So. Part of this is going to be for chicken alfredo, which I keep forgetting to make. So I'm finally going to make that. And then the other part I'm just going to do in a pan with, I got some potatoes and do kicking chicken seasoning, which I have in there somewhere. Okay. Bacon to go with those biscuits. Got some sour cream for all of the tacos and chili ideas. Then they had these a dollar ninety nine, and so basically, if you bought three, you save three dollars. So I basically bought two, and I got one free. Come on, now they're normally two dollars ninety nine cents, but it's worth it to me. And I started trying this coffee flavored one, and I really like it. Okay, got some potato salad. Got some macaroni salad and then I got this which looks really good it's a basil pesto chicken bowl yum yum that's probably what I'm gonna have today oh it has cauliflower in it okay ah, anyways I'll let y'all know how I like that cuz we will be back I'm going to put all of this stuff away I'm gonna sit down and eat lunch and then we are going to pick up back in the bathroom because I need to sweep and mop in there then I also need to sweep and mop in here so let's do it we are the reason opposites attract once you slam the door on the second floor I regret it all when I think it through I can help the way I feel for you Make me lose my mind like all the time It still feels right Stuck in a nest
All right, so I cleaned out the fridge while I was putting groceries away. Let's see, went grocery shopping. So now, okay, all I need to do is fold clothes in that basket. So fold clothes, sweep, mop, wash floor mat in the bathroom. And then I put dust in the living room, but I already checked in there to see if it needed to be dusted. And other than that table that we did dust off earlier, it looked fine. And then sweep and mop the kitchen. So that is what we are going to be doing next.
So now I'm just going to get dinner started. So tonight I'm making Alfredo noodles with the red tomatoes and chilies. I don't know why I call them red. Of course tomatoes are red. Anyways, actually not all tomatoes are red. Hello. So Chloe is like sitting right beside me and she wants to go outside. But anyways, she's giving me like this pouty face. So I'm going to do cooking chicken for half the chicken and then I'm going to do complete seasoning for the other half of the chicken because one night we're going to have just kicking chicken with some sides probably tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and cook all this chicken and then get my noodles started for the pasta. Now, cause I don't want to slow this down. My heart is screaming out your name. I'm wasted on you. Here we are, right underneath the stars. So let's get a little reckless. You make me breathless, and I won't waste this. And I promise that I. said I I will stand by you forever and I won't waste it Master Chef in the background. I can't find pasta. I'm gonna have to run back there. I think I have some spaghetti in my like bucket of things that I don't use all the time. So I'm gonna run back there and see if I have some pasta. Ah, trying to make fettuccine tonight. I don't have no noodles. Found pasta. <laughs> Thin spaghetti. This will work. This will work. All right. I'm gonna let my water get started bring it up to a boil and while that's happening I am going to go in the bathroom and sweep and mop in there I may hold off the kitchen because I feel like if I sweep and mop in here it's gonna be wasteful because I, I'm cooking right now you know and there's stuff still gonna be on the floor so I may save that for another video, but I do need to go in the bathroom and get that done. So let's go ahead, do that real quick. I hope y'all are liking this video. We are, we're getting it done. We're getting it done. I hope this is motivating. I'll talk to you more in the bathroom. All right, we're in the bathroom now. And all I need to do in here, move this. We had to have the heater on last night because it got, does anybody else do this if I wear something I just like throw it on top of my little buckets if it's not dirty but probably gonna take a few minutes for my water to get up to a boil I need to sweep in here so I can wipe off the floor but how do y'all like this video I feel like it's just easy to make because 
it's like a full day of just me cleaning <laughs> and cooking and there was a grocery haul it was kind of like everything in one i know i've done videos like this before and y'all have said like yeah you really like these um so i was telling y'all earlier this week that i was going to do a video every day and bless the hearts of those that do videos every single day because I don't think I could do it. <laughs> it seems easy, especially if you're just doing things that you already do, like clean, cook, and all that. But then when it gets to the editing and uploading and then communicating with the people that watch your videos, you all, uh, that starts to add on a lot of that time. So if you're curious, a video like this takes me about two hours to maybe two to three hours to just go through and edit and add music and then if I add on the upload time the thumbnail and the like all the other stuff that goes into it it's about six hours whenever I upload those the 20 minute videos those take me about four hours total for everything but I like to check my comments and stuff and make sure I'm not missing anybody and um, at least give them a heart so that they know I read their comment even if I don't have a lot of time to like respond okay I'm bending down to get this <laughs> ah. okay there we go it never seems like this floor is that dirty but it is dirt. I, I do the floor about once a week in here. I, I'm going to just put this over there and let's see. I need some kind of spray. Okay. I have this spray. I'm just going to use it. I did the toilet the other day. But I just, um, I'm not mopping the whole floor. I'm just going to take a towel Towel. It's one of our not so nice towels. You know, it's got the strings and stuff all over it. And I just go around the bowl with my feet. <laughs> Sometimes I'll get down there in the floor and, and work it. I work it. But, anyways, that's what I'm doing there. It's mostly me that uses this bathroom. Erin uh, uses the other bathroom a lot. But. I do have that little towel that I put down here. Oh, I'm stuck on something. Uh, not towel. The floor mat. I must have already taken it out of here. I think I did. Okay. So now that's good enough. Oops. That's good enough for me. I'll wash that. What else do I need to do? Is this how y'all do it? <laughs> you just talk to yourself like, okay, what else do I need to do? So I clean out the stopper. And I picked this up at Walmart. Right. It is a hair stopper that goes in your drain. I'm going to put that in there. There it is. <laughs> Hopefully that works. Oh, man. Sometimes when I laugh, I sound like my mom. <sighs> okay, let's go in the kitchen. Water is boiling. Put some in there. That chicken already smells so good. I could see this through. I could wait another night. One more night, one more night. I could fight it through. in here. That's a different kind of pasta though. No.
dishes. I am boiling my noodles. Chicken is in the oven. And I did do half the chicken in the complete seasonings for the Alfredo noodles. And then the other half is for tomorrow, which is just mac and cheese, mashed potatoes, and chicken with the kicking chicken. We love that stuff. And then if you've ever had the, I think it's just called carbonara at Applebee's. It's basically Alfredo sauce with noodles, chicken, and then diced tomatoes with green chilies. So I'm going to do that. I'm probably going to put the green chilies on the side though because I don't think Aaron likes it. But it's going to be good. Good, good, good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. I'm putting these up even though I'm going to have to take them out because I don't know when Aaron's going to be home. So I may go ahead and end the video because I don't know how long it's going to take him to get here. This is my my day. I do a little, a little other things while I'm not filming. Like um, I have a, a friend's Poshmark closet that I share three times a day, and then I also make my own. I have my own clothing line. So this one, I don't know if y'all have seen it, because I forget to share with y'all. It's linked down below. This one says coffee is my love language. Designed it myself. Um, and then I do Etsy, so I have some stuff going up on there soon. I'm going to be making some candles. I'll share that on the other channel. If you made it this far, <laughs> thank you so much. We got a lot done today, and I hope this was helpful, encouraging, entertaining, whatever you expect out of a cleaning video when you click on it, and yeah. I guess I won't wait to show y'all what dinner looks like because it's it's literally just pasta, chicken, and then this sauce. But I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see y'all back here soon enough for a another video. Bye. One more night, one more night. I want a place to fall.